fuck, where did this stop recording? Um, hey everyone, Inky Tiger here, and um, today I thought I would give you all a little update on my YouTube channel and what I've been working on lately and what I plan on working on in the future. Um, so if you've been following me recently, you've probably seen a lot of fan art, particularly from Voltron Legendary Defender. Uh, if you're into it, I gotta say, dang DreamWorks. Between Voltron, Troll Hunters, and How to Train Your Dragon, I am like, <laughs> so much secondhand stress. If you enjoyed Legend of Korra or Avatar The Last Airbender, it's the same showrunners that were behind that. Get into Troll Hunters and How to Train Your Dragon while you're at it. I'm not working for them, it's just they have good stuff, man. <laughs> So yeah, I've been working on lots of fan art, kind of as practice warm-up stuff that tends to get carried away into not so much practice, so much as really intensive works. I've also recently been putting together a lot of prints and cards and postcards that are available in a local shop. So I've been working on that and actually working on getting two online art stores open. But they'll be up and running soon. One of them is an Etsy store and one of them is Society6. That's it. <sighs> it's been that kind of a day. So the projects that I am currently working on are um, a couple of commissions and collaborations. So those probably won't get posted unless I get an okay from the um, creators of said characters. I don't think I've really brought this up in any of my videos, but I'm actually working on a graphic memoir right now. I won't get into too much detail on what it's about, but it kind of details some certain really life-altering events that took place within the past two years or so. I don't think I'm ready to talk about it um, publicly just yet, but maybe I'll tell you guys more about it farther off in the future. <laughs> so that's taking up one of my sketchbooks is uh, this graphic memoir that I'm working on. I've also been working on coming up with video ideas. Um, I think I've only had a couple of speed paints and kind of how to color tips videos really so far, but um, I'm hoping to add things like writing conventions for fiction stories and character design and character development. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you've probably also seen that I've been trying a lot of new or new to me coloring techniques. That was one thing that I wanted this channel to be in particular is I will try things that you have yet to try and I will see if it's worth your time or not. So if there's any art programs or um, brush sets, coloring techniques, things like that that you want beta tested I guess? Oh no. <laughs> Just send them my way and I'll um, I'll try it and I'll make a video about it and try to make it funny. Future projects um, that I'm hoping to work on are a comic series that I've been developing for the past four years, I think. Uh, I can talk about it more in another video if anyone's interested. It's called Free Spirit. Hoping to get my graphic memoir at least written by June. It's kind of long, so you guys can hold me to that if I get lazy. Um, I'm also hoping to take on more commissions in the future. Um, I really want to start doing more animatics and animation. I've gotten so rusty at it. Mostly I used to work in stop mo, but um, stop motion 2D, that was kind of my jam. I need to get back into it. I had some ideas for animatics for um, Hamilton. I had a couple of Ultram ideas actually. So I really want to get into that. I need peer pressure, you guys. And um, uh, overall, I think my future goals are just to get back in the digital art game. Long gone are the days of deviant art and uh, what are they called? Okaki boards. It's super Japanese. <laughs> Basically, it's not uh, 2005 internet art anymore. It's um, a ton of different artists spanning Instagram and Tumblr and Amino or whatever it is now. And, God knows what else. Old. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get back into that digital art game. I've been out of the loop for a couple of years. 
And again, maybe that's a story I'll talk about for another day, but let's just say I'm ready to come back to it and get down in the trenches because it's been a while and I miss it. And time to do some learning. Though I've been trying to post more art recently, even though it's been a lot of Voltron fan art, I do want to say that it's not as much as I feel like it could be, and uh, that's because basically I'm juggling uh, this graphic memoir, collaborations, commissions, my actual job, and any uh, personal uh, appointments or anything that I have to take care of. And I wanted to bring that up because I realized that there are a lot of other self-taught or digital artists out there that um, there's a lot of us out there that do this kind of as our... I hate the term side hustle, but that's kind of what it is. We have our regular job, which is at like Starbucks or whatever, and then we go home and we work really hard at learning this craft and doing commissions here and there, but it's not like it's working at a studio or for a publishing company. So, I just wanna say, it can be a bit of a struggle trying to manage work, your personal projects, your health, any family and friend obligations that you might have, while still trying to keep up with your art habit, but um, I want to say that you're not alone. I'm right there with you. <laughs> it is exhausting, but it is so worth it, and I know you can do it. I believe in you, so uh, go. Be great. So if you have any questions, comments, and or concerns, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will either try to answer it there or in the next video. If you like this video, you can totally hit like, but you don't have to. If you like this video, please like it and share it. You don't have to subscribe, but... Nope.